we add two thirds and three fourths? Yes, Andrea. We can change the thirds and fourths into equal denominations. Thank you, Andrea. That's very good. As you can see, I've multiplied three fourths by four, equaling eight twelfths. So, what do you guys think? Well, it was okay. It was okay. What about you? It was cool for what it was, but it wasn't all that. I mean, look who was singing. Oh, yeah. Yo, word up. And to who, man? A bunch of nuns singing old babies, yo. There was two guys in the fourth row that didn't even applaud, G. Oh, yeah. It was dead, stupid. <laughs> look, sis. I think we should just 80. Want to make 68 bucks? Sure. Who do you want murdered? <laughs> <laughs> no one. Look, I want you to take me on your motorcycle to Denver right now. Why do we finish this game? Take you on the right. Well, it works. I mean, she's always been the most popular mom on the block, and that was okay when I was seven, but I, now she wants to, like, go and hang out with me and my friends, or worse, go out with us. I, I swear she learned to stay out of my life. At least she cares enough to try to stay in it. It's really quite simple to do. Just think bobbing head doll. Ready? I'm Brooke. I'm a vapid, vacant, vacuous, girly girl. <laughs> yeah, impressive. Uh, I think Come in, Brett. I've decorated my desk extra special for you tonight. She doesn't have a desk. What? A girl like Brooke is not going to have a desk. I mean, it would clash with her whole bedroom. Over. I'll never mention it again. We make a pact. Right here and now, we take this to our grave. Agreed. Julie? Don't you noise your head, you fucking say it! Yeah, okay. Ray? What are you doing here? Well, I talked to your dad, and, uh... He told me that you'd be here, so I just thought that I would... Uh... That's my letter. I thought it was my letter. Yeah, of course it's your letter. I mean, I just... Did you read? Hello? 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 Uh, can I help you? <laughs> Where are you? I'm, uh... I'm down here, fixing something. What do you want? What's yours? Um, I, I think the, the tea is ready. Okay, well, look. I have another one right there, in my back. Can you see? <laughs> Whoa. God, that's not too embarrassing. I, uh, just wanted to see if the, if the tea was ready. I'm gonna... How you doing back there? I'm scared if you want the truth. You just gotta believe in yourself. Thank you, Janine. But if I don't get this right the next time, they're going to make me drive the taxi and let you wear the dress. You can do it. Here and I think. Is it hard? What? Getting married. I mean, I haven't been here that long, but I've already heard tons of stories about you and women. Yeah, well, those days are all over, Wendy. Forever. Okay. Chapter 6 of the training manual. Unarmed assailant, frontal attack. Begin! Stomach head, stomach head! <sighs> <sighs> Sit down. Sit down. I've just killed somebody and I'm going to spend the rest of my life in prison. Fine. Stand. It makes no difference to me. So? I guess you feel pretty bad about what happened, huh? You could say that, yes. I'm going to call the police. Kind of bad or really bad? With the red front door and a roaring fire and a Christmas tree. It's a place called home, full of love and family. How 
was always thinking ahead. Making decisions out of fear. Today, because of you, what I learned from you. Every choice I made was different and my life has completely changed. Oh, really? How's Sunday? Sunday's, Sunday's great. S Sunday's good. Sunday. Okay. So I'll, I'll see you Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Hans? Yeah. Listen to me. He is a no good German cheapskate. And you need a boyfriend who's going to love you no matter how much you cost. Am I right? Am I right? Smile. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Since ninth grade, when I took you under my wing, have you I... You just hate that. And a bit painty. Painty? I don't know. Maybe she was a decorator or something. Uh, you know the worst thing? There was Sam on his knees in front of me, and there was this... I can't describe it. Really? Yeah! That would explain the rose <laughs> petals. <laughs> I'm so sorry about dinner, but you know what? I will send your regards to the queen. Oh. Okay, congratulations on Obi. Oh, oh yeah, and hey, you, you two. They're lucky to have you. But women, we fall in love with our ears. Mm -hmm. You remember that I said that? Uh. Oh. Dang it. I'm so sorry. That's my phone. I forgot to turn it off. Oh, it's my daughter's school. I need to take this. Hey. Hey, baby, what's up? So many women who went through the same thing I did. My story's no different. Oh, but it is. Oh, really? Please, uh, tell us what makes your story so different. Well, um, you know, you, you kept the love alive. You autographed it for me. Yeah, yeah, you know, so you don't have to uh, stand in line one day. To my girlfriend, Claire. Good, good friend, Claire, should say. Oh, I'm but, sorry you know, about that. Uh, because you're not my girlfriend. But no, I, I just... No, you're I know, it's a just... girl and you're my friend. It's just that right. and I would, but... Uh, you would... You would what? Uh, no, uh, no, um, what? Like a guy like me. Well, that's crazy. I mean, what girl here wouldn't be interested in a really cute Jewish guy with a whacked out sense of humor? So you, uh, you come to these things often? <laughs> Only the ones that my mother organizes. <laughs> hey, your mother. <laughs> she organized this? Yeah, and if I didn't show up, I would never hear the end of it. You know how that is. Yeah, I know how that is. <laughs> Dylan, those are for our guests. Carter, where do you think you're going? Over to Kenny's to watch Martin. Oh, no, you can stay right here and watch it with your beloved TV family. Oh, what, am I being punished for something? Dad's expecting all the Fox stars to come over and welcome us to the Sunday night lineup. Oh, Bob, you don't think those awful Bundys are coming, do you? Don't worry, I already locked up the good silver. No fighting, no drugs, no money, no problems, no worries, no segregation in my house. How do you get this thing off? You don't. Todd. What? You don't. Are you mad at me or something? No. Then what's wrong? I wish you could get back. God, Bailey, what are you doing? Nothing. It's just cards on the table time. You don't like it, leave. Actually, I don't know why you're here in the first place. Bailey. No, it's not like anything you say matters to me. It's not like you belong here. Okay. It's like, take a hint. I don't love you. Excuse me? Kill her! Kill her! You're the killer! And I know you're gonna tell me you're not the killer and because you're beautiful, you think I'm gonna believe you, but I'm not! 
Fox is just like that movie, Killer, Killer, You're the Killer, and I knew you are going to tell me that I'm you're not the killer. killer. I believe you. <laughs> you see, um, I'm a new student here, and, and I was in study... My dad, but everyone calls him Jack, which is uh, you know, my dad did that to my brother, too. He's Frank Jr. Um, yeah. who should I make this out to? Uh, cool. He's a singer, too, right? Your brother, yeah, it was kind of hard on him, you know. Lots to live up to being named after the dad. Did you get a kiss, man? Sure thing. Well, good luck, John Jr. I um, tried to take care of him here, but eventually we had to put him in the hospital. He's very alone in the world, Pistol Pete. What about his birth mother? <laughs> she gave him up the day he was born, and she never looked back. And you're arresting me? You're lucky I didn't shoot you with that gun in your hand. How else am I supposed to protect myself? By helping me catch the guy who's been attacking you. He's too smart, you're never gonna get him. I will, if you trust me. I trust you? You're stalking me, just like he is. Having a gun delivered like it's... I have a major announcement. Since you've agreed to be in the movie, I have decided that I will pretend to have forgiven you. So, what's your major announcement? Well, you were never really allergic to pizza. <laughs> well, I wish I would have known that when I played a pizza maker's daughter in the Telemundo original movie, Her Father Makes the Pizza. <laughs> Houston, we have contact. I have yet to make eye contact. And it's it's an overnight flight. Oh, Casanova. I mean, I'll, look, I'll admit there are some challenges. You think? I mean, there's you no know, class difference. First class culture or celebrity nobody. And, uh... Have you seen her yet? Not yet. I got Lynette's call and came straight over. Did she say why she needed to see us so bad? No, just that it was important and she needed to do it face to face. Let me see that baby. <gasps> are you not the cutest little chick that ever was hatched? You must be Cole. I'm your Auntie Lynette. Mama. I am so... Controls creative thinking. So when you're playing a memory like a movie in your head, you're not actually remembering it. You're creating it. And that process is so delicate that once you remember something wrong, you remember it that way for the rest of your life. So that explains why the interviews with our victims were all dead ends. He's turned their own recovered memories against them. So even if Hotch can get Christine to talk, how will he know if she's remembering? Pressure, kick count. Great. I wish she was a little less of a night owl with the kicking, but other than that. We're getting pretty excited. <laughs> Good. Again, I thought we did that last visit. Your plan may have to adjust. I don't know what the world's going to look like next week, much less next month. So are you afraid that you're not going to have a bed?